Hey there viewers! Pull-ups might be one of the most underutilized exercises for size and strength, but they're as important to your upper body as squats are to your lower body. Although pull-ups might be one of the most challenging exercises, their benefits are sky high. In today's video, we'll tell you why you should make pull-ups part of your exercise routine. Not just that, we'll also talk about the different pull-up variations you can try, so make sure you watch until the end. Before we actually get into the benefits, it's important for you to know how to do a classic pull-up properly. First, make sure the pull-up bar that you're using is at a height that requires you to jump up to grab it and your feet should hang free. Next, stand below the bar with your feet shoulder width apart. Jump up, grip the bar with an overhand grip about shoulder width apart. Fully extend your arms so that you're in a dead hang. Bend your knees and cross your ankles for a balanced position. Take a breath at the bottom. Exhale while pulling yourself up so your chin is level with the bar. Ensure that you pull yourself with your chest and keep your shoulders down and back. As you pull up, push your stomach forward and keep your chest high to strengthen your back muscles. Pause at the top. Then lower yourself, inhaling as you go down until your elbows are straight. Repeat the movement without touching the floor. Repeat the process and continue until you can't tolerate anymore. Now that you know how to do a proper pull-up, let's get into what muscles are worked by doing it. When you do a pull-up, you work out several muscle groups at once. They efficiently build your biceps, triceps, wrist muscles, forearm muscles, shoulders, back muscles, core muscles, and the muscles in your hand. There are no exercises that work as many muscle groups as pull-ups. You would need seven non-compound exercises to work as many muscle groups, but a pull-up would do this all at once. Okay. Now let's get into the benefits of doing pull-ups every day. Number 1. Increase grip strength From opening a jar of jam to carrying groceries, you need a strong grip for most things in life. I'm sure you don't want to struggle to do everyday chores. Well, here comes the pull-up. As you do more pull-up reps, your grip will be doing most of the work to lift your body weight, so your grip strength will increase as the days pass. It always works on those forearm muscles simultaneously. This is how your grip gets the pull-up advantages. Number 2. Weight Loss A pull-up is a high-intensity exercise which burns calories, although in smaller amounts compared to aerobic exercises such as cycling, running on a treadmill, and running. If what you want is to shed more weight, you may step up the intensity of the pull-ups by doing more sets, doing them faster, and taking less of a rest in between. This will get your heart pumping faster and your metabolic rate higher. As your body's metabolic rate increases, more fat is burned to produce glucose, which fuels your exercising muscles and other tissues. Number 3. Better Mood Another thing you can stand to gain when you do pull-ups consistently is a better mood. Doing any form of exercises causes the release of chemicals called endorphins, which make you feel good. You'll not only notice that, anytime you do exercise, you'll feel happier afterwards. The level of serotonin in your brain is also boosted when you exercise making pull-ups and other forms of exercise a good supportive treatment for anxiety, depression, and mood swings. Another chemical that's released when you exercise is endocannabinoid, another feel-good chemical. Endocannabinoid makes you feel relaxed and happier after a pull-up. Number 4. You'll become stronger Pull-ups are known as being a closed kinetic chain exercise, which basically means they work muscles that are used in daily activities. After you do pull-ups for some time, you'll be able to carry heavy bags and lift items from those high kitchen shelves with ease. Closed kinetic chain exercises are also safer to do because they allow your body's natural structure to determine how your joints move, creating a more natural range of motion. Number 5. Strengthens your back Our backs are often the most unjustly overlooked muscle group when it comes to working out, as many gym rats would rather focus on the bicep exercises instead. But the strength of your back is crucial no matter if you're an athlete or an office worker. Pull-ups are one of the best exercises you can do for your back as they stimulate all the important core and back muscles. Just a couple of them a day is sure to strengthen your back significantly over a fairly short period of time. Also, it's always a good idea to train your back if you have a desk job, as regular workouts that affect this area can prevent injuries in the future. Number 6. Increases your stamina as you consistently exercise, your body's stamina will also increase, meaning that you'll become more resistant to workouts, whether it's running or lifting weights. Keeping your stamina up during each workout session is important because you want to be able to do more and reach your health goals. 
Pull-ups benefit and impact your body stamina through each pull due to its physical challenge. It might look simple, but there's a good amount of pressure that's put on your upper body. Pull-ups are a great way to make your heart stronger, and as it becomes stronger, your stamina increases. Your heart is the root to all physical strength as it paces your breathing and gives you the oxygen flow your muscles need. Number 7. Reverses Muscular Imbalance It's pretty important to make exercise a focus as it helps all your muscles grow and prevent pain and injury. If you're new to this regime, figuring out which exercises to do can be tricky. There might be times when your muscle is being overworked and you might not know it. When it comes to working the upper body, pull and push movements are key. If you're doing too many workouts that require you to push, it can result in posture problems due to a weak back. Pull-ups are perfect to reverse this issue where it focuses on strengthening your back to reduce the chances of getting injured. Number 8. Improves your posture During pull-up movements, one of the most common cues is to depress and retract your shoulder blades or pull your shoulders down and back like you're squeezing a vertical pencil with your back muscles. Pulling your shoulders down and back in itself will help you have better posture. Now, you can't just go around depressing and retracting your shoulders all day. Well, you could, but it wouldn't be very comfortable or realistic. Which is why doing pull-ups can be so beneficial for correcting and maintaining good posture. When you do a pull-up and continue to do them regularly, you're training your muscles to get used to pulling your shoulders back and down. That way you progress and improve your performance during the pull-up. You're also improving your awareness of which muscles are tightening and preventing your shoulders from rounding forward. Number 9. Prepares you for advanced training Another key benefit of doing pull-up workouts is that they essentially prepare you for taking more advanced pull-up exercises that require serious upper body and grip strength. This could be one of the goals if you're looking to build some serious muscle. Start out with regular sets of pull-ups and gradually build your way to more advanced workouts that are more demanding. Taking on too much too early comes with a risk, so be safe and start slow. Number 10. Gets you the V-shape The V-shape is something that we all admire and pull-ups can get you one step closer to your dream body. Shaping a perfect V requires a lot of effort on the entire trunk, especially the abs and lats. Pull-ups will do half the work. It's a well-known back exercise, so getting some work done on your lower back can be best achieved by pursuing a pull-up routine. Moving on, let's talk about a few variations of pull-ups that you can try. Number 1. Weighted Pull-Up Once you get to the point where you can do 10 pull-ups, you can add weight to make it more challenging. There are three primary ways you can add weight. First is a weight belt. Second, put a dumbbell between your ankles when crossed or using an ankle weight. And third is using a weighted vest. Weighted pull-ups are also a great way to increase the total number of pull-ups you can complete if you're hitting a plateau. Number 2. Muscle Ups This is a very difficult pull-up because you have to lift your entire torso over the bar so that it's high enough to then extend your arm straight, which is its finishing position. One little trick you can use is to keep your legs slightly forward as you're coming down at about a 20 degree angle, which will help you build a little momentum as you swing them backwards to help you forcefully pull up again. Even with this little tip, they're still very difficult. Because you're pulling your body up and over toward one hand, then across the bar to your other before coming back down to the starting position, you're loading only one side of your body with weight. This puts more load on your muscles than a traditional pull-up, which distributes your weight evenly. Number 3. Around the World Pull-Up Start with an overhand grip with your hands about 6 to 12 inches wider than shoulder width apart. Pull your body up towards your right hand. Then pull your body across the bar laterally to your left hand. Then drop back down to the starting position. You can either repeat the right hand or pull up towards your left to change direction for the desired number of reps. Number 4. Close Grip Pull-Up Grab the bar with an overhand grip slightly narrower than shoulder width apart. Pull up to the bar in a smooth motion so that the bar touches the bottom of your neck at the top of the pull-up. Lower down, keeping the movement controlled until your arms are locked. Then repeat for the desired number of reps. Number 5. Wide Grip Pull-Up A wide grip pull-up emphasizes your back muscles to a greater degree than close grip pull-ups. Grab the bar with an overhand grip wider than shoulder width apart. Pull up to the bar in a smooth motion so that the bar grazes the bottom of your neck at the top of the pull-up. Lower down, 
keeping the movement controlled until your arms are locked, then repeat for the desired number of reps. Do you do pull-ups regularly? Do you use any variations? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.